Can I have your trademark? Are you alive? I think it. Do not approach graphics, they're dangerous. Greetings, comrade. Is this ticket okay? Will you let me ride now, you bloodsucker? Why didn't you notify me you had a trap up spot? Maybe because I didn't. Are you saying this is risky? What did you just. Please do not watch. It is obvious. <laughs> Feel free to listen to Wow, we just witnessed a real miracle of science. The train is now departing. Next stop, Solnechnaya Station. Charles? Professor Zaharov's death seems pretty cut and dry to me. What's so suspicious about it? We've already been over this. There are too many unanswered questions. Hey, I need to get to the bottom of this. Sechenov's the only family I've got, okay? I understand, Comrade Lecher, but what do you need to get to the bottom of it? I can't even imagine Sechenov killing his best friend. That's just crazy. I mean, why would he do it? Why, indeed? That is, unless Zaharov betrayed him like his other colleagues did. Dr. Filatova, for example. Filatova went after Petrov. She's a woman in love. She wasn't thinking straight. Oh, fuck. What's that thing? Oh, crispy critters! Time for a dirt nap, Stuck. Get your ass up and head to cover. Spill it. What did Sashinov say? Oh, okay, okay. Easy it's like, now. Okay, okay. Comrade Molotov is on his way. Head down. To the... Okay. Uh, Comrade Sashinov wants you to go there right now and in initiate an emergency drill. Uh, got it? What the hell for? Okay, uh, fair enough. Uh, okay. Anything else? Uh, Comrade Sashinov asked me to give you this. Huh. This will come in. You're a soldier, Agent B3. Your job is to cover me. What are you doing? So just cover me! Huh? Wait, where are you going? The slippery little bitch! I'll
Just like Moscow. Better, actually. More futuristic. And on a larger scale. My design. Your what? A linguistic error. I meant to... that it embodies my favorite design. Come on, not that hooker bot again. Watch out, there are robots beneath us. Really? I thought they were ladybugs. Please select the desired procedure. Are you ever going to give it a rest?
Okay, what do we have here? It's the Hawk's service button. What does it do? It will cause the Hawk to land, so it can be serviced by a technician. How long will it stay there for? If it fails to make contact with a technician, not long. Then we need to move. What are you planning? I'm gonna take a ride on the Hawk and get a better view of the place. Maybe I'll see something. What should I do? Hang on to this handle or something? Hold on tight. Hawks are not designed to be ridden. What are these cables for? They weren't here before. The cables stabilize the Hawk during bad weather. Huh. Maybe I can slide down a cable. Interesting fact. From a bird's eye view, you can see that the grass in the park was planted in the shape of the peaceful atom. A bird's eye view?
do we get inside? I don't feel like wandering around here all goddamn day. Think carefully, Comrade Major. Is there anything you might have failed to consider? There must be a way into the VDNH. We now have access to the scientific testing ground, Comrade Major. You can find valuable weapons in such locations in the future. Yeah, 
I know your science shit. All you do is deceive honest citizens with the concept of a bright future. No comment. Outstanding. Let's go take a look at the gear that'll help me see tomorrow. Authorization. Major Nichayev, code... Authorization. Major Nichayev, codename P3, access granted. Please select the desired procedure. Testing Ground 1's magnetic and mechanical workshop is responsible for 1. Supplying samples used in all tests and research activities 2. Manufacturing external casings for piston type and thermal machines 
Three, regular and cylindrical surface grinding, as well as spark erosion treatment for machine parts. What the hell is that? A special transporter for valuable cargo, or Comrade Lutjagen, according to the employee's facetious name for it. Valuable cargo is all well and good, but why is it stuck there like that? Its base features a prototype of a perpetual motion engine that forces the... Boring. Give me the short version. Once released, it moves quickly between certain set points. It's dead still. Looks like your perpetual motion engine is busted.
So, what will it be, Major? Attention all testing round one personnel. To avoid unnecessary accidents, please leave the testing zone as soon as the testing on alarm is activated. Remember, the Soviet worker is always aware of their environment. This goes double for facility 3826 employees.
It should come as no surprise to find access to modern weaponry deep within civilian testing grounds. Science and war have always gone hand in hand. Is that what your programming tells you to think? Shall we say, that's what I believe. Even the cartoons you're so fond of started out as revolutionary intelligence gathering methods, lamentable though it may be. War is the engine of progress. I don't know where an AI glove could possibly get beliefs from, but if you ask me, I'm all about peace. So, what will it be, Major? Weapons? Authorization, Major Nichayev.
Oh, yeah. There's a hawk in the sky. so prejudiced against Comrade Stockhouse? Because I hate cowards. He used to goose step through Berlin. Now he's a model communist? Not entirely fair. Comrade Stockhausen was a medical doctor and scientist during World War II. He was a professor of medicine. Why are you sticking up for him? I just don't like him, okay? I don't care what he used to be. I just hate the way he's always running around and sucking up to the boss. Just squash it.
задача спортивного инструктора. В ее модуль памяти уже заложено больше десятка комплексов ритмической гимнастики под музыку известных современных исполнителей. Каждую неделю будут добавляться новые упражнения и музыкальные композиции. Shit, would you look at that? It's that thing again. Be careful. Hog 7 units are quite dangerous. Oh, come on. It's freaking adorable. A civilian robot. You tell me, Major. You have far more experience with combat robots than I do. I, I do? I mean... Shit, I do, but... I can't remember a damn thing. They seem... different somehow. Pretty impressive, isn't it? You can really tell we're on the threshold of something really incredible. I just wish there weren't bodies all over the damn place. The celebration will be held on Monday in honor of national polymerization and the launch of Collective 2.0. All the highest ranking members of the Communist Party will be here. I can fix all this by then. I certainly hope your optimism turns out to be justified. It will. Great. Mirror on the right is all set. More locked uh, The mirror on the left isn't working. Something is jamming the mechanism and preventing the mirror from ascending. Got it. Looks no like... No entry. And a skull and crossbones. That's encouraging. Where am I? The magnetic shock absorption system is located on this basement level. All the rooms here are full of mobile electromagnetic clusters. I can use an EMP on them. It's not gonna kill me, is it? Let's hope not, Comrade Major. What? So I could get crushed by a falling wall of magnets? Theoretically speaking, that shouldn't happen, but this is merely a hypothesis. I've never been here before. Seriously? That's weird. Well, whatever.
Those freaks and their goddamn mustaches again. Another door without a lock. Ugh. Where's the relay, Charles? I don't see anything on the walls. What's the point of this fucking maze anyway? The magnetic shock absorption system was developed by scientists from Kiev Polytechnic University. It's a very complex and comprehensive device that alters its configuration according to the situation. So it's plan B in case of a natural disaster. Among other things. But it is first and foremost a trial run of the magnetic shock absorption system. Here, under Earth conditions, the system will be perfected so that it can be deployed in space. Cool. Science is power. There's no denying it. But we still need to find a way past all these goddamn magnets. Charles, what the hell does Molotov have against Dr. Sechenov? Why do you have to cook this commission up two days before the launch of Collective? Everything's ready. Exactly because everything is ready. What do you mean? Are you trying to say that Molotov and his commission want to steal the fruits of Sechenov's labor two days before the launch? Indeed. The malfunction Petrov caused is an excellent pretext for showing that Dr. Sechenov is incapable of overseeing Facility 3826, and by extension, the polymerization of the Soviet Union. What's the boss got to do with it? This is all Petrov's fault. He's the one who made the robots turn the facility into a heap of corpses. I'm afraid Comrade Molotov doesn't care how many victims there are. But neither does Comrade Sechenov. What? What the fuck are you talking about, Glove? The boss is doing everything he can to fix this. To be precise, Comrade Major, it's you doing everything you can to fix this, not Dr. Sechenov. But he's the one who sent me here. But why did he do that? Think about it logically. Comrades Sechenov and Molotov both have something to gain from preventing information about this terrible malfunction becoming known to the rest of the world. Because no one would believe that a handful of traitors are responsible for the whole thing. 
Everybody would think that Soviet robots are dangerous. Quite right. But what conclusion should we draw from this? Only that, hypothetically, comrades Sechinov and Molotov should both have a vested interest in ending this nightmare as quickly as possible. Isn't that right? Yeah. So what? We're seeing a common, everyday power struggle. Instead of going to the government and having hmm. troops sent to Facility 3826 to destroy the hostile robots, arrest Petrov, or end this in some other way, Dr. Sechinov is doing everything he can to conceal the tragedy from everyone, including the government. They can't send in the army. There are too many people. Somebody could leak intel to the enemy and then it's all over. But only reliable men could be sent to the facility, such as the Argentum unit loyal to Sechenov. They could team up with combat robots and restore order in the blink of an eye. But I don't need to tell you about that, do I? But that's, I mean, ugh, crispy critters. I don't get it. Why does it have to be so complicated? Because Dr. Sechenov can't deploy troops or combat robots without the authorization of the Politburo. On the contrary, he's doing everything he can to make sure the government doesn't know what happened. Why do you think that is? Because his enemies would take collective away from him? Now, when everything's built and ready to go, and any asshole with a badge could run it. Quite right. It's all done. Just fix the malfunction and press a button. Geniuses, creators, and engineers have already done their jobs. All that's left to do is enjoy the fruits of their labor. In other words, Comrade Molotov wants to put Dr. Sechenov in jail over what happened here so he can take over the facility himself? To be exact, he wants to lead Collective. But how can he? Everybody's going to be equal there. Some will be more equal than others. No, I know that high-ranking Communist Party members will have more authority in Collective than ordinary citizens, but that's fine. I mean, somebody's got to make big decisions, right? Is that so? Why, pray tell? Well, first off, somebody has to be responsible for carrying them out. It's not like everyone can be responsible for everything. Everyone means no one. Someone's got to take responsibility. The buck has to stop somewhere, right? And if the whole world did nothing but debate big decisions, no one would ever do anything. They'd spend all their time talking. But what if you're wrong? You say that the entire world would never stop discussing important decisions. Collective is a collective mind. Having merged into one, mankind will instantly know everything anyone wants to express. And in this singular collective, Responsibility will be determined not by fear of punishment, but by awareness. 
Has anyone ever reached that level? Even here in the USSR? We're not perfect, to say nothing of the rest of the world. Absolutely right. The world may not be ready for the launch of Collective. The Soviet Union's leaders understand this. That's why the party will have special discretionary authority within Collective. What's wrong with that? That's how it's always been. Has it really? Or has there always been one indisputable leader? A puppet master controlling the Politburo, the Council of Ministers, and all the rest. Are you trying to say there's going to be one single leader in Collective? I'm trying to say that people will connect to Collective. So this little thing is the reason everything's all jammed up? <sighs> this place is nuts. You can ascend to the surface along with the mirror. For once, you're right. I'd probably reach Nirvana before I could make it back down the way I came. the VDLH yet, Comrade Major. The government's commission's condor has already left Moscow. They'll be here any minute now. If the commission hasn't landed yet, that means there's still time. Just let me work in peace. Shall I report to Dr. Sechenov that it is his requests that prevent you from working? Yeah, you can report on how you ran away from those robots on the maglev platform instead of helping. I am not a soldier, Comrade Major. I am doing intellectual, not menial labor. Smashing robots is your specialty. The only labor you're doing is talking my ear off. Right now you're wasting my time and slowing down my mission. What? Nothing. Ah, uh, that's what I thought. Granted. I need to get into the exhibit. How do I open the door? The time can be opened with my multi key. Error. Multi key not found. All Tereshkova models can transform their index fingers into keys. It's one of their basic functions. Looks like you lost your multi key. My forearms have been torn off by miscreants. Error. The required manipulative node is missing. The unlocking function cannot be initiated. Right. Where could she have lost her hands? I suggest you start searching this location. Please, please. Dead bodies all over the place. Tereshkova's arm. 
What's that metal pervert doing with it? That is a robot waiter. Who's serving the people it killed? I'm gonna smash that fucking bot to bits. The robot isn't currently hostile. We should be able to retrieve the arm without a fight. How does it work? Hold it up to my neurosensor contacts. Multi key activated. Now what? Thank you for coming to my aid. Not having the key felt like I was missing a limb. One moment, please. Did we fix her or break her? The Tereshkova is a state-of-the-art model with a self-repairing system. A famous actress and cosmonaut contributed to its creation. I don't give two wet farts. Much better. With your permission, I'd like to deliver a speech now. Greetings, comrades, and welcome to the All-Soviet Exhibition Center! What the fuck are you babbling on about? What speech? You're prancing past piles of dead bodies, and there's blood everywhere. My algorithms are glitching with horror, but my databases lack the verbal and visual tools required to express fear, horror, or other negative emotions. I was created to remain positive and optimistic, no matter what. The grotesque dissonance between my behavior and the gruesome surroundings grosses me out. But there's nothing I can do about it! Uh, I see. I guess nobody expected this to happen. Okay, bot. Set the VDNH to drill mode. Drill mode? This would lead to even greater aggression from passive and physical security systems. It will endanger you and may lead to death of the surviving people, assuming there are still any left. Exactly. If there are any left, this place is a fucking graveyard. Now follow my damn order, bot. You have given me a most peculiar command. All people in this complex have been killed by robots, but you are unharmed. This arouses suspicion. Prove that you are a human. I will not follow the orders of a robot pretending to be one. And how am I supposed to do that? Commit seppuku? You must pass the Darwin test. This will prove that you are a human. What the fuck? What test? How about I just rip your head off, huh? Without her help, activating drill mode will take too much time. I gladly confirm this information. Fine, knock yourself out. Hit me with this damn Darwin test of yours. What am I supposed to do? Prove that you are human, Pioneer Nichayev. Put three items on this pedestal that represent the three main values of a Soviet citizen. Art, labor, and life. Crispy critters, now I gotta deal with another crazy-ass lock? Fuck, I'm a magnet for annoying bullshit. The 
It's strange that the Tereshkova loves them, even though she's a robot. Flowers. Give her flowers. Some robots are almost human, and some humans are almost robots. Strange times we live in. So, about this Darwin test. Yes! I am always happy to help, Major. Here you go. This is as alive as it gets around here. Hear the springs, cheerful hymn. Be yourself, strive and earn. Life, I love you, and hope you love me in return. Gah, shut your face, you dumbass toaster. I'm sorry. All this chaos is causing my emotional algorithms to malfunction. Just watch your fingers. I'd rather not have to look for that multi-key again. The hammer, tool of working men. The sickle, peasant's friend, the many-pointed star they praise, and with their lives defend. <sighs> Put something cheerful on, would ya? It kinda feels like the end of the world right now. Radio of the future! Astonishing music generated by the state-of-the-art quantum supercomputer, based on the preferences and tendencies of the modern performers. The theory of relativity claims these are the songs that the citizens of the future will be listening to. But the citizens of today are already listening to it. Doesn't that mean this is going to be the music of the past once we actually get there? And nobody's going to write it 30 years from now because it already exists. The music of the future could change every second. Well spotted. You have discovered a temporal paradox. How very observant you are. The music of the future shapes the music style in the present. However, the superposition of the observer and the information being perceived are located within a self-consistent loop. In layman's terms, we are always listening to the music of the future and determining what it is going to be like at the same time. Oh, shit. If that's layman's terms, I'd hate to hear the complicated explanation. I'm getting a fucking headache here. Pioneer Nichayev, you passed the Darwin test with flying colors. Tell me, what do you want to be when you grow up? A cosmonaut. What a splendid career choice. I would... Well, I rather enjoy your attention, Major. Now, how can I help you? Do you have a memory leak or something? I need to announce a drill and put the VDNH into drill mode. Unfortunately, this is beyond my ability. Are you yanking my fucking chain? But... I can provide you with a solution. 
You see, a single robot cannot engage the military drill mode. Such procedure requires the presence of two robots instead of one. So where do I find another obnoxious metal dipshit? Before that dreadful nightmare, the information hall was staffed by the two of us. But during the failure, the berserking robots took my partner, Claire, apart. Did they scatter her all over the complex or something? Precisely. How did you know, dear comrade? Call it a hunch. Do I have to scour the entire VDNH for her parts? Plug the administrative control drive into me, so I can tell you where the pieces of poor Claire currently are. Well, that sure beats looking for him blind. So where's the administrative control drive? I'm running out of time. Please follow me. is just monstrous. The robots must have completely lost their minds. Would you look at this? Helping lumberjacks and first responders is such a noble goal. But you, how do you use the arms our creators have given you? Like a primitive animal, like a beast to crush and dismember. And this one, it just stands there buck naked as if nothing were wrong. Have you no shame, robot? Publicly exposing your iridium compactor. You do realize he didn't do it himself, right? Oh my, that's a mess. And who, I wonder, will have to clean it up? I should dispatch the cleaners this instant. No, wait. It's the cleaners that did it. I'm so scatterbrained today. Oh, I envy you humans. You can just pick up a razor and shave that horrible monstrous mustache off. But this one, you're not even a machine, you nitwit. You're just an imitation, a caricature, a piece of lab equipment. Pardon the outburst. It's just that one of them used to try to... Oh, well, let's change the subject. There's a wide range of the lab tech models. The ones in black turned out to be especially vicious. They've been using their harmless built-in range-finding laser to pick off humans from a distance. How did it ever come to this? Just so you know, the black lab tech specialization is determined by the software package encoded within a specially constructed Kinetico Scholar Neurogel capsule. You can salvage this package from one of the defeated Black Lab Techs, provided its capsule is still in one piece. What? I didn't understand a single thing you just said. You're an assistant, Tereshkova. Talk human. Shocking. You have no sense of decency. I gather you've already met Nora, the monstrous repair vendor who's subjecting humans to unimaginable deadly torture. It pains my algorithms to have to send you into her bloody clutches, but we have no choice. She's the only mechanism capable of utilizing this capsule to upgrade your weapons. Yeah, yeah, move your ass, Tereshkova, we're in a hurry. On my way, comrade. the good boy who's the sweetest silliest chubbiest little boy you little goo you don't attack people even when you're in combat mode because you're such a little sweetie isn't that right aren't you precious
Here we are, comrade. The administrative control drive should be at this booth. Please establish the connection. Only try to be gentle, comrade major. I have very delicate internals. Oh, what just snapped? Relax, bot. That's my joints cracking. <sighs> Does this look all right? Administrator level rights granted successfully. What now? I'm opening the door to the atrium for you. Search each of the complex's floor and find my dear Claire. I'll be in touch over the radio. As soon as you reach a floor, I'll scan it for my poor friend's parts. Most of her is on the ground floor. Please put her back together again. Wow, check this place out. It's like a palace. Talk about class. Let me just drink it all in. Attention, Just great. 
So where am I even supposed to look? I swear on my cooling unit, these mustached perverts must have dragged her into the maintenance room. I'm on my way. This place used to be really nice. Until everybody got killed. It is a most tragic sight. Hey, this is new. You may need to apply spatial reasoning here. There's no may about it. These locks of yours are really something, you know that? Fading data. Hey, Charlie, why couldn't they just put regular, more reliable locks everywhere? Like with codes and shit? I suspect it's because if they had, anyone who hacked the code would be able to open the locks without authorization. Yeah, but now anyone who solves the puzzles can get through. In other words, pretty much anybody. Charles, what do the special neuroconnectors from Sechenov's team look like? The special neuroconnectors have the Greek letter Gamma on them, and are shaped like bracelets. They are worn on the right arm. Gamma? What happened to Beta? Or are those the fake connectors you told me about? The fake connectors do in fact have the letter Beta on them, but the Beta connectors were real at first. Uh, I don't get it. The first experimental prototypes of the neuroconnectors with discretionary authority were called Beta connectors. There were only two of them, and Dr. Sechenov designed them to look like rings. So, what happened to them? After the necessary experiments were complete, Dr. Sechenov removed these rings from the list of special neuroconnectors. Enhanced gamma models, shaped like bracelets, were then made for the scientists, one for each member of his team. Okay, there are only seven of those gamma connectors? For Vavilov, Korolyov, Kurchatov, Lebedev, Pavlov, Filimonenko, and Chelome? Indeed.
staring at?
reach the facility service rooms, Major. One of my dear Claire's legs is most certainly there. Yeah, the truth is out there. I've never seen bots like these before. This robot is very dangerous in melee combat. Uh, oh, so that's why I'm getting my ass kicked. Charles, I've never seen Dr. Sechenov wearing a bracelet before. Does his Alpha Connector look different? Indeed it does. His device is unique, and its shape and location are one of Dr. Sechenov's deepest secrets. So his Alpha Connector must be really well guarded. Who's watching it, Argentum? Entrusting humans with the Connector would be far too risky. It's guarded by Dr. Sechenov's personal bodyguards. You mean the ballerina twins? The way they move, they're so graceful and elegant. They kind of remind me of something. Is that Here's so? Here's your leg. Do yourself a pair thing. <laughs> cool tech. Obstructed. Data incomplete. <sighs> What's the holdup? Why can't we locate the module this time? I'm afraid I can't help you. There's some kind of interference on this floor. Possible sources of interference include electromagnetic shielding or the presence of a large, elongated object. A large, elongated object? That sounds odd. thing in here and lots of little fuckers what am i supposed to do with this What is this, a kid's game? That is a puzzle kit. Nice. What's it for? I believe it activates some sort of process.
Holy fuck, Charles! Is that the process I just activated? Run! Where? Hey, hey, what the hell are you doing, damn it? <laughs> you metal son of a bitch. You scared the ever-living fuck out of me. That was close. Well, whatever. I got the arm. This looks like the right one. Let's go find the rest. Charles, why did the boss take the real beta connectors out of commission? Were they defective? Not entirely. Dr. Sechenov wasn't convinced that there was any need for discretionary authority within Collective. So the boss wanted total equality, but Molotov's schemes changed his mind? Perhaps so, Comrade Major. What do you mean, perhaps? Dr. Sechenov wanted equality for everyone. There can be no question of that. But consider this. The Alpha Connector existed from the very beginning. Maybe the boss wasn't planning to use the Alpha Connector's power. He just needed it to launch Collective. That's possible, right? Anything is possible. Okay, first arm's good. Scanning cycle. Module. Limb. Arm. Left. Found. Location. Pavlo floor. Uh, could you be a little more specific? No! This is terrible! It runs into something warm and sticky. Oh my! It is red polymer. Disgusting! What does this even mean? I am sorry, dear comrade. This is the only data I have available. I hope I managed to help you. You sure did. Fading data. Please select the desired procedure.
Access granted. Wow, a lock. Didn't see that coming. What's that crap in the canisters? Be careful. That is a specimen called pliush, or ivy. It is extremely dangerous. Yeah, I've seen this crap before. And of course, the ripped off arm is in there too. Why couldn't it just be lying in a corner somewhere? Son of a bitch almost took me out. 
Let's hope another one of those freaks doesn't come crawling out of the next canister. According to my data, the second canister is sealed properly. Have you infiltrated the VDNH yet, Major? The government commission is almost here. I'm inside, looking for a way to... Whoa! Hey! Why isn't anybody working? Here's your left arm. <laughs> Go ahead, fix yourself up. Scanning the exhibition area. Module head found. Establishing coordinates. Shit, it's dark here. I got a bad feeling about this. Data. 
crispy fucking. Where's the shit ass way out of here? Underground or something? Fuck me. Where am I supposed to find the head? You need to enter Icarus Hall. It is located on the second story of this venue. So where's the entrance? Unfortunately, I do not have this information. Everything's got mixed up after the malfunction. No shit, Sherlock. Have you considered powering the beluga? How is that supposed to help? I don't know. It's just a suggestion. Well, I guess it can be It's not like we've got a lot of other options. Tereshkova. Where's the power room around here? At the very top! Fantastic. So we cut off. Just what I always wanted. Charles, so after the whole beta connector idea was dead, they made the neuro connectors with discretionary authority? I'm afraid so. The power struggle in the Kremlin will never end. The party elite insisted on having power even within Collective. Well, they're our government, right? We're the USSR. Indeed we are. But Collective was designed to be for everyone on Earth, and the USSR is not the only country. We can't let capitalists and imperialists into Collective. Why not? Collective was designed as a worldwide union for equal human beings, where robots will do everything for them. Everyone will have the same opportunities. The capitalists won't like the sound of that. Unfortunately, no one in power will see equality as an appealing prospect. So to avoid being crushed by the Kremlin, Dr. Sechenov programmed discretionary authority into Collective. I see. So where's the fairy top?
crispy fucking. Where's the shit ass way out of here? Underground or something? <laughs> Fuck me. Where am I supposed to find the head? You need to enter Icarus Hall. It is located on the second story of this venue. So where's the entrance? Unfortunately, I do not have this information. Everything's got mixed up after the malfunction. No shit, Sherlock. Have you considered powering the beluga? How is that supposed to help? I don't know. It's just a suggestion. Well, I guess it can't hurt to try. It's not like we've got a lot of other options. Tereshkova, where's the power room around here? At the very top. Fantastic. So we're cut off. Just what I always wanted. Charles, so after the whole beta connector idea was dead, they made the neuro connectors with discretionary authority? I'm afraid so. The power struggle in the Kremlin will never end. The party elite insisted on having power even within Collective. Well, they're our government, right? We're the USSR. Indeed we are. But Collective was designed to be for everyone on Earth, and the USSR is not the only country. We can't let capitalists and imperialists into Collective. Why not? Collective was designed as a worldwide union for equal human beings, where robots will do everything for them. Everyone will have the same opportunities. The capitalists won't like the sound of that. Unfortunately, no one in power will see equality as an appealing prospect. So to avoid being crushed by the Kremlin, Dr. Sechenov programmed discretionary authority into Collective. I see. So where's the very top?
This is where the power comes from. Are you sure? Definitely. How? Because this place has my favorite thing in the whole fucking world. A relay. Really? I thought you were more partial to canisters. Oh, come on. See if this thing helps. See if this thing helps. Have here. Tereshkova, do you copy? Yes, dear comrade. The communication is... <laughs> <laughs> Looks like a maze for kids. This will be a cakewalk.
jumpy little thing, ain't ya? How do I rotate you, huh? Hey, I think I get it. Now we're getting somewhere. Do you have any idea what you're doing, Major? Nice! Easy. When warmth and beauty mingle, at the past turn, a carcass lay a sprawl upon a bed of shingle. Legs raised like some old core, far gone in passion. The burning, deadly, poison serving mass opened its paunch and carefully. Yes, found the head. We gotta keep moving. Charles. Any idea how much time we got left? I cannot say for sure, but definitely not much. Finally, I got all her parts. So, what was wrong with the real Beta Connectors? Since Collective was originally planned without any discretionary authority, everyone in it was supposed to be equal. Yeah, we already talked about that. Then why'd they need the Beta Connectors? To secure Collective against unforeseen threats from individuals who might wish to control it. That's impossible. Everybody's equal in Collective. Shit! The Alpha Connector! Indeed. Intruders or an opposition force among equals could try to obtain the Alpha Connector. This could lead to human casualties, which would be unacceptable. So how could Beta Connectors stop this from happening? They didn't give their carriers any discretionary authority, but they did allow them to be present within Collective without being a part of it. In other words, they had total autonomy while retaining access to the information. So what? That's basically what we have right now. You're seeing this from a human perspective. What other kind of perspective could I... Oh, crap. The boss wanted to put beta rings on some robots so no right. one else in collective could control ahead. them. Double two, seven, nine, nine, one, zero, zero, oh. Hey, rise and shine. Good morning to you. Thank All her body parts assembled. What now? Self-repair procedure complete. I am ready for service. Thank you, comrade. We will now initiate the launch sequence.
First launch code sequence generated. Please confirm that launch code sequence is matched. Second launch code sequence generated. Launch code sequences match. Initiating BDNH mode of operational change. New mode, military drill. Whew, I think we made it. Thanks, ladies. Thank you, dear comrade. Please, Comrade Molotov, I beg you. It's not safe here. So it's still dangerous. I was told everything was under control. There was a minor issue, but Major Nichaev, uh, forgive me, Agent P3, has already dealt with it. What exactly did he deal with? There's blood all over the place. That's not blood. It's paint. Comrade Sechenov, you're playing a dangerous game here. Greetings, Comrade Molotov. I don't follow you. What game? You know what I'm talking about, Comrade Sechenov. Your local malfunction is actually a worldwide catastrophe. Your robots in combat mode. Countless human casualties. Need I go on? Oh, please do. But first I'd like to know how you obtained this information. From Viktor Vasilyevich Petrov. Your engineer, an outstanding roboticist, an honored citizen of the Soviet Union. That's what he used to be. Now he's prisoner number 230385, sentenced to community service at the Vavilov complex. By your order, you are in direct violation of Soviet law. As a minister, the minister of industry, you know the consequences. Here is the Procurator General's decree. The upcoming launch of the Collective Neural Network will be cancelled, and you'll be the subject of a full-fledged investigation. Am I making myself clear, Comrade Sechenov? Comrade Molotov, may I have a word with you in private? <laughs> Do you really think that's going to change anything? <laughs> Fine. I'll meet you here in 15 minutes. Mikhail, meet me at the landing pad. Right away, sir. I I'm sorry, sir. Go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> Aren't you in a hurry to see your master, Major? Stockhausen seems awfully eager. Is something wrong, Major? Major, I asked you a question. Lock the door. What's going on? I said lock the door.
P3, my boy. You're alive. Uh, I guess so, yeah. Comrade Sechenov! The government commission... they're dead. Molotov's body is here. What about the others? How many people were with him? F Fifteen or so. Some of them may have survived. Find out. Uh, what the fuck happened here? Who the fuck did this? Guess the robots got in. You were fortunate to escape unharmed. C Comrade Sechenov, all the members of the commission are dead. All of them. This is tragic, but it changes nothing. Collective must still be activated. I couldn't agree more. But what should we do with the dead Politburo member? We don't have a lot of options here. Right? Handle it. Mikhail, head to the radio station and make sure power to the government line has been cut. Make it quick. Uh, yes, sir, but the Kremlin will be expecting a report from Comrade Molotov. I will personally inform the Politburo of this tragedy. Hurry, Mikhail. We don't have much time. Left. Help her. How are you doing, my boy? Not good. I failed you again. This is... too much. It's too much for all of us. This terrible incident.
was that? A tribute to the departed. Kondrasetchenov! Uh, we've got a problem. The central hub is broadcasting. Someone is trying to send information to the West. Who? Who could have done that? There are only two people who could have done it. You and Petrov. Petrov's dead. I saw his body. Just his body. Petrov is first and foremost a head. It was his body. How's that possible? Filatov. Hmm. When your accomplice is a neurosurgeon of Dr. Filatov's caliber, then anything is possible. Have you traced the signature? Petrov is masking his signature, but I'm sure he's in one of the scientific centers. Did you hear that, my boy? Go find him. Right now. Charles, what the hell happened down there? What exactly are you asking about? Who killed the government commission? How did I survive? Sorry, I cannot help you. You suddenly lost consciousness as though you'd been struck from behind. When that happened, I was also disabled. What was that monster made of red polymer? That was a neuropolymer data storage. A data storage? What does it store? Dead bodies? The boss said it was a tribute to the departed. What's that got to do with data? You will have to ask Dr. Sechenov himself. For my part, all I can say is that Professor Zaharov died the exact same way. This is fucking nuts. I really thought the polymer was harmless. Ah. <sighs> Fair enough. Find Petrov and return to Chelame as soon as possible. This will be the best outcome for everyone. Charles, why did that monster, you know, the red polymer thing, the, the data storage, why did it look like a person? Dr. Sechenov's idea. He wanted it to move independently. Why would a data storage need to walk around? So it could run off someplace and get lost along with all its important information? It won't run off. It's as loyal to Dr. Sechenov as the ballerina twins. When Dr. Sechenov releases it into the outside world, it always remains near him as an additional security measure. Security? So it can attack people? What do you think, Comrade Major? Why would a neuropolymer substance capable of dissolving a human being in mere seconds need to be able to move independently? Shit on a shingle. You're telling me that Jelly Man can sneak up behind someone and kill them instantly, without leaving a trace? It does remind me of a certain person who died under mysterious circumstances, and without witnesses, after slipping and falling into a bag. Crispy critters. Yeah, makes you think. So, Charles... When Dr. Sechenov sends his twins somewhere on assignment with, say, Stockhausen, he's guarded by that red monster? Makes sense. Comrade Stockhausen is incapable of independently reaching his destination within a facility swarming with hostile robots, and Sechenov would never remain unguarded. Why? He's a hero of the Soviet Union. Everybody loves the guy. Why would anybody want to hurt him? Why indeed, Comrade Major? You think there are people in the Kremlin who are jealous of him and want to get rid of him? It's more likely that they just want power over Collective. If you rule the world, it's hardly surprising if people want to take your throne. Very powerful. I'd rather have Dr. Sechenov be the General Secretary of Collective than anybody else. The General Secretary? Is that what you think he's going to be? Of course. What else would he be? I hope... All right. Charles, how could that prick Petrov send intel to the West? The facility's under lockdown. Petrov cannot transfer anything directly to anyone. Or he would have already done so. That is why he is attempting to deceive Collective Central Control. Are you talking about that big-ass ball floating in the sky? You mean Petrov somewhere close by? I believe so. 
The emergency protocol has blocked most communication between facility 3826 and the outside world. This block cannot be overcome. An entire scientific academy would be required, such as the Academy of Consequences. Then what's he hoping to accomplish? As you have no doubt already observed, there is one communication channel connected to the outside world that is not subject to the emergency protocol. The secret government line. Quite right. That channel is used by Dr. Sechenov to contact the Kremlin. No one else has access to it. Yeah, no one except Granny Zena. So, what's Petrov trying to pull? I believe he is trying to dupe the central hub by passing himself off as Dr. Sechenov. That son of a bitch.
Charles, is there really a chance Petrov could fool the hub? It wasn't exactly programmed by morons, right? They must have put protections in place. Petrov is a talented engineer and programmer. There's a reason he made it to Facility 3826. He's the one who optimized the programmer-to-robot and robot-to-robot digital data transfer protocols. So he knows better than anyone how the central hub works. Does that mean Petrov could actually fool the hub? Then why did Dr. Sechenov trust these protocols to a single guy? It's temporary. After the launch of Collective 2.0, digital communication channels will be rendered useless and irrelevant. Everything will be transmitted via neuropolymer wave emission. Binary code will be left in the dustbin of history. And so will programmers. No wonder Petrov is so pissed. He wants to fuck shit up while he still can. In broad strokes. Although I suspect that Petrov has other motives. He's a traitor to the motherland. Fuck his motives. How long do we have to stop him? Hacking Collective Central Hub is a very difficult task. Even with the right communication equipment, Petrov will need considerable time to do it. So where can he find that kind of equipment? Other than the Science Center. Only aboard the Flying Chelame Complex. And nowhere else? <laughs> That's great. Your goose is cooked now, Petrov. Traitor as a dickhead. Hey, Charles. What does the Sechenov Center study? Radio waves, Comrade Major. It contains equipment that will help Petrov detect you. So move with caution. Guess we better stay quiet then. Major, the enemy has raised the alert level.
Trav is somewhere nearby, Comrade Major. Keep it down.
Ah, oh, another dungeon. This is the testing ground, Major. There should be weapons here. Testing ground, dungeon, same difference. Let's find the stuff and get moving. Major, weapons or to evaluate the durability of construction materials as well as buildings themselves during an earthquake. At this site, testing is carried out with the aid of a special vibrating platform that imitates the seismic vibrations of Soviet soil. The results will ensure the safety of Soviet citizens within buildings designed by Facility 3826.
Hydraulic testing is a set of measures designed to test the hydraulic properties of various types and classes of polymers. The tests are carried out at various operational stages with simulated contingencies and methods of containment. In this workshop, you can see a simulation of the polymer bubble. Modulaging units are submerged in a wet polymer to observe the reaction of both the portable building materials and the dummies within. Isn't Comrade Lutyagin? You seem rather gloomy. Is something wrong? No, I just feel like I had a bad dream or something, and, and this guy was there. Pull yourself together. You haven't slept in a long time, Major. I feel like I'm asleep right now, and I'm having a nightmare. It's no nightmare. It's a mirage. Fading data. <laughs> Authorization. Major Nichayev.
Not bad. It will get better, Comrade Major. Was that a joke? At whose expense? Let's get going.
Look what we have here. You killed him! That's enough, Victor! So much death! I just knocked him out! He's unconscious, okay? To be or not to be, that is the question. Whether it is noble in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune, or to take arms against deceit and troubles, and by opposing in them. You know, it's, it's all wrong, it's all wrong. I don't agree. I'm sorry, Louisa, but I don't understand. He ruined everything, and you, you! I'm a doctor. Enough people have died today. People, Larissa! He's an animal! He'll rip anybody's throat out of Sechenov orders him to! Victor, he's tied up. I'll program a treatment and then we'll go. Go where? No one's coming for us. And this fucking lunatic's ruined our escape plan! I know. We'll come up with something. I doubt it. <laughs> Just let me go, and I promise I'll make it quick and painless. So such enough talk and talk, huh? Look, he just came to and he's already threatening us. <laughs> yeah, I am threatening you. How many people have your robots slaughtered without so much as a warning? Petrov? Two thousand? Three thousand? That's 000? not Victor's fault. It was a local malfunction. <sighs> a local malfunction? Then why the shit doesn't your boyfriend have a scratch on him, huh? <laughs> what the hell are you talking about? Isn't it obvious? First Vavilov, then the VDNH. The robots are attacking everyone except you two. Why is that, if you're not controlling them? <laughs> Victor? You said you had nothing to do with this. <laughs> and you believed him! What other bullshit has this guy told you? <laughs> oh, man. Victor! I had no choice! A simple malfunction wouldn't have changed anything! How could you? Huh? How could I? You said it yourself! The whole world might end! Huh? No, don't touch me! <laughs> you really didn't tell her anything, did you? <laughs> A big mistake. Hey, what the hell? Larissa, wait! Larissa! Nothing can save you now, asshole. P3 to Chelome. Petrov... got away. Again. You seem to enjoy chasing the man, Nechayev. Petrov must not interfere with the launch of Collective. Find the criminal. Now. You have drawn the wizard's ire, Comrade Major. No shit. Get off my grill, will ya? Not only can I hear you just fine, I'm gonna see you real soon, too. So get ready, prick. Trust me, the preparations are well underway. There will be surprises, dog. You turned Louisa against me, bitch. She doesn't return my calls. Yeah, you're breaking my heart. I don't give two wet farts about your relationship. Charles, can you trace the call? Where is that shit stain? The signal's coming from the Plisetskaya Theater. A theater? Right here in the facility? <laughs> what a clown. It's a theater, comrade major, not a circus. Marking the waypoint. Whatever. I won't let that traitor get away from me again.
gotcha! How do you like that, gearhead? Let's 
Charles, how'd that whacked-out Psycho Petrov manage to reprogram civilian robots to kill people? As I mentioned earlier, Victor Petrov is a talented engineer and programmer. Why didn't he use his talents to help people? Access granted. Access granted. Access granted. Thank you. 
cowardly fuck Petrov is hiding behind a dozen layers of robots. He is attempting to survive, but you're right, comrade major. Now that he's in the theater, he has nowhere to run. This is his last chance. He doesn't stand a chance in hell. Charles, can you track Petrov's whereabouts? Unfortunately, no. Petrov is no longer broadcasting. I will track him as soon as he does. Gotcha. That means he won't do it again. That dirty, rotten scumfuck is hiding away in some dark corner, and he's gonna sit there and hope the robots kill me before I find him. I ought to warn you that Petrov knows this theater quite well. He has good reason to hope for such an outcome. Hope is dangerous. It'll lull him into a false sense of security.
Let's go see what's what. Your cue, Comrade Major. Are you here to finish me off, dog? Fading data. a dog. Your master sticks you on someone and you go right for the throat. <laughs> Just do it. And do it. Charge, okay? What is that? Ooh, the <laughs> collar is electrified. It's a trap. Son of a bitch. I'm still gonna get you. Hang on, comrade major. I'll try to reduce the charge. I don't care if I got a crow. I'm gonna get that motherfucker. I've reduced the charge. Are you okay, comrade major? Had worse, much worse. He's not getting away from me. Tickets in advance for our spectacular performance. Heart of the Robot, a peaceful atom. <laughs> Doesn't seem all that peaceful to me. Emotional thrill guaranteed. The play features fine humor, epic battles, fantastic special effects, and a touch of heart-wrenching drama. And that's it? No other surprises? We prepared a special surprise for you to commemorate the launch of Collective 2.0. Crispy critters, what is it? You will personally take part in the performance! <laughs> this ballerina has been reprogrammed. Yeah, like everything else here. I gathered as much. I'm coming for you!
Guys like Petrov even come from in a flourishing society like ours. Welcome to our mind-blowing show. The main character is about to get fucked by Lloyd. Have you found Petrov's trail, Comrade Major? I've driven him into a trap. He's got nowhere to run. Is Dr. Filatova with him? No, Petrov's alone. Aren't you maybe just a little too interested in what happens to her stock? You didn't happen to betray your friend because of her, did you? You just crossed the line, Major P3. I demand that you cease these outrageous insults at once. And I demand that you shut up and stop annoying me with your pointless existence. I am carrying out the order of Dr. Sechenov. Dmitry Sergeyevich wants to know when you deliver Petrov to him. Your protege has nowhere to run. He's gone nuts. 
He's watching me through the cameras, reciting poetry, and screaming hysterically into the loudspeaker. I'll take him alive within the hour. Try not to fail, Dmitry Sergeyevich, at least this time. Fuck you. You shouldn't behave like this. Comrade Stockhausen is blameless. He is genuinely trying to help. Yeah, right. He's genuinely trying to steal Petrov's woman. I had to do it. I had to. Sachinov is going to kill us all. He's toying with us and with you, too. <clears throat> Do you decide what to do? Or is it decided for you? It doesn't matter which side you see things from. Top or bottom. Left or right. You brainless mutt! You'll never understand! That's mighty profound, you sick fuck, but it won't help you. How the hell could I even know if I was happy or not? I wish I did, but here we are. Взрослые пропадают зря. Жеребетаняи взрослые пропадают зря.
Ну, проклятый мост. Проверь календаря. Па -па 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 -па. Такому случаю ночью не дай. Плачут не везу. Charles. Yes, Major. Stand down for now. Hush. Saving data. Access granted. Access granted. So, what will it be, Major? Weapons or... Retire! Get yourself a... a Katya or a Tanya! And me! I could have done the same.
Christian's the only one who knows the code for this door! Damn his eyes! So are you the electrician? No, I'm not! But if you fight the sillage, you put him down like a fucking dog! You hear me? Kill that lousy egghead son of a bitch! That yeah, will do. After he gives me the code. He keeps hammering about electricity. You know it when you meet him. The electricity. Okay, that's enough. For now, anyway. The electrician is the only one who knows the code for this door. Damn his eyes. So where do I find him? Fuck the vinyl. The electrician is the only one who knows the code for this door. Damn his eyes! So how did you give up the ghost? Was it mutants? Electrocution, damn it! At least you're not pushing up daisies. <laughs> Good point. I gotta go. Okay, that's enough. For now, anyway. I hate ballets. I hate pompous art critics. I hate jobs by appointment and this entire stupid system. Smile, work, and keep nodding. I can't wait for this to be over. What, you don't like Soviet society? I don't like it when people are happy because somebody up above ordered them to be. I see. Let's just drop it, okay?
Alive or dead, what's the difference? We're all just electrical stream, just ones and zeros. Every power outlet knows that. Zeros. What's the hold up? Business first. What was it? Zero, six, fifteen. How am I supposed to enter it? The password appears not to be a password at all.
blood, right? Charles, what did you just turn on? A temporary malfunction, Major. I am now operating within normal parameters. Oh, you're a tough nut to crack. Oh, I can't even soften you up. Sechenov says, seek him, and you can't disobey. That's fine. Solve my puzzle, P3. I'll try to reach you one last time. Release 
your creativity. Use the right side of your brain. Debug mode and initiated. Of the future. And you'll see where such an real plan is going to take us. You'll find the campus. Debug mode initiated. Please enter a command. Your move, Charles. I'm kind of out of my depth here. Releve in the fingers. Anything else worth checking out? Attitude. Anything else worth checking out? Oh, my, you're talented. This isn't new to you, though, is it? Do you want to see the old tall dude with arms around us? Or would you rather Anything else worth checking out? Sky, carefree bird song, and I'll say in the fourth position. Unless you want to hear the heavy footfalls of the robot army marching against mankind. Debug mode initiated. Down. Please enter a command. This is your time to shine, Charles. You're a smart ass machine, right? Well, we got some smart ass commands for you to figure out. First arabesque. Try again. Give her a command. Passe. Try again. Give her a command. Ecarte with the right leg. Try again. Give her a command. A la seconde. Arms free. Debug mode initiated. Please enter a command. Your move, Charles. Debug mode. Your move, Charles. Releve in the fingers. Any check. Batemont tendu, arms free. Anything else worth checking out? Quasay in the fourth position. Anything else worth checking out? <laughs> Debug mode initiated. Please enter a command. Yeah, Charlie. Releve on the toes. Quasay in the fourth position. Big arms in an allongé. Try up. Releve in the fifth position. If I say, arms upright. The sky is alight with sunsets raging crimson. Now comes the dark. Debug mode initiated. Uh, I don't need really to get this. All the collective, but he can't. No one can control the power. say in the fifth position. Arms in the third position. Sometimes you think you're gaining on your nemesis, and he'll be within your grasp soon enough. And then everything will be happiness. Smiles. Debug mode initiated. Your move, Charles. You have no idea how insidious your real enemy is. And not even Sechenov truly understands it. What you're all really going to Elevate in the fingers. is emptiness, powerlessness. And Anything else worth checking? And the uncomfortable feeling that you've been had. Quasse in the fourth position. Anything else worth checking out? Releve in the fingers. Anything else worth check? Attitude. was supposed to be a real show, but now no one will ever see it, 
except a stray dog. Charles, why is that head case whining about how Collective is going to kill us all? <laughs> Access granted.